All right, the next question is from Ian Bremner. Thanks for this absolute beginner here. Having just bought an interface and installed Cakewalk, I'm a bit vague on what you did around adding a track, fingered bass. You commented that two tracks ended up the same sound. So you made some changes. I got lost at that point. A few times you quickly glossed over some steps without explaining slowly what you were doing. I managed to record a sound, but through my headphones, there's playback sound only through one ear. All right, I'm right here in front of my tune, Faders on the Bus, which I never did finish, but it was from a video that I created dealing with creating aux points and creating stereo buses. So anyway, the question is, how do we go about like recording a bass? So I have a bass right here, all right? I'm using a TTS, but if I wanted to create a bass sound or whatever, or use another instrument, I can just go insert, insert instruments, all right? And then I can go to TTS or I can go to my SI bass and then do it that way. All right, I created my bass and I can go to it and I have sound on it, so I know it's all good. So now I know if I go and record it, Unfortunately, I don't have my keyboard plugged up right now, but the good thing about it is that I can go to virtual controller and I can use computer keyboard and and then if I want to go octaves, I can press X, press it again. Now, um, I can tell right now that my latency is off just by looking at this because yeah, I got to set all the way on safe. So let me bring that back. Press Alt zero. All right, and then that'll bring it up. And now press X again. Let's go up another octave. All right, so now I can record it. The fader on the bus goes up and down. So I recorded something, and this is what I recorded. All right, that's what I recorded. All right, and I had it set on a loop, so it only recorded just that one section. All right, that is how I would record if I was going for bass. Now, according to what uh, Ian Bremner was asking, was I was moving a little quicker in a video because I was talking about uh, if you create an audio track and if you create a MIDI track, if I create an instrument on this audio track. Uh, let me go soft synth and then let's just do kickwalk TTS. Say for instance, I have my audio track and I have the TTS on it. All right, I'm gonna go to my MIDI track and I'm gonna change the output of the MIDI track. Right now it's set on Microsoft GS Wave Synth. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to kickwalk TTS, which is at the very bottom one. Now this track is going to pull sound from this audio track. So if I record any MIDI on here, um, let's do Alt Zero again. And then we can set this to record. And then I can record on this. The fader on the bus goes up and down. Okay, all right, and I recorded something and this is what that sounded like. If I duplicated that track, change it to a different sound. If I go in here uh, and change it here, it's set on piano right now. And if I change it to maybe, I don't know, synth box or something like that. Now, um, I might want to record it on this track for that sound, but I have to keep in mind that now I've changed the MIDI for this sound as well. So this is gonna be the exact same sound. Now, this is very confusing to understand, but basically you want to make sure that you have two different separate instrument tracks. So if I know that this one, see if I go record here, let's record on this one on track 18. The fader on the bus goes up and down. Okay. And so now. 
But guess what? So now that actually is the sound that I just changed it to. But when I go back and listen to this one, it's the exact same sounds. I didn't want track 17 to change sounds. I only wanted track 18 to change sounds. But I have to keep in mind that both of them are linked to the same track, which is track 16. So if you're going to do something different, then what I need to do is create another audio track. And then I can copy the TTS, drag it down, all right? And now it's there. Just press Control and then drag and drop. I can set track 18 output to 11 Cakewalk TTS 17, which is this one right here. If you're not sure which instrument you're supposed to be routing it to, you can always click at the top and you will see it says number 11 at the top. Whereas this one says number 10. So that's how you be able to differentiate between the two. And now this one, I can have a different sound. And then now I can go to pipe and then let's put on flute. All right. So now I can listen to this one. And I can listen to both of them together. All right. The fader on the bus goes up and down. Yeah, okay, <laughs> there you go. Uh, that sounds so weird. But anyway, that is how you'll go about doing that. Now, to answer Ian's other question, because he also mentioned that there is sound only on the left side. Now, if I'm recording audio, keep in mind when you insert an audio track that you have to make sure that it's set to the correct thing. Because if I have... My X18 is a little bit more forgiving, but what I really want to do is I have to make sure that my input is set on the right channel. Now, if you're using a, you know, a solo or two channel, four channel interface, then you got to figure out which channel, whatever channel you're plugged into. If I was using my Scarlet, um, my Scarlet Focusrite, if I was plugged into channel one, then I would go to channel one. So normally it would look like this. I would see channel one or I'd see channel two or I'd see stereo if I was running stereo. Uh, in this case, my mixer, I'm plugged in channel 12. Don't ask me why. Uh, I just got channel 12 set up for this. I used to be plugged into channel 4, but I could be plugged into any channel that I really want to be plugged in, but I'm just plugged into channel 12 for now. So when I go to 12, I get both sides. But what happens if I don't go to 12 and I go to 11? Nothing. Or if I go to... 12, 11, and 12. Now I'm only going to get it on one side. And you can see the signal is only on one side. And this might be your problem. You might have it set on stereo versus having it set on mono. Um, and then sometimes it's the interface itself that you can, there's a switch on there to change it from stereo to mono too as well. La da da dee dee. La da da bee. La da 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 dee dee. All right, so, and you can notice now that I'm only getting one side, all right? And I do not want one side because that's not going to work. You only hear it out of the uh, right ear. Okay, sounds good, but that's not what I want. So if you're recording audio, guitar, piano, whatever it is, horn, whatever, and you're only getting on one side, make sure that you have your input set to the correct thing, all right? And that should fix that problem.